we are back at the three bedroom apartment. everyone good afternoon we are back at the three bedroom apartment so currently the screening is ongoing as i mentioned earlier we are we are going to screen the walls and do complete repainting of the area and that's what's currently happening at the moment as you can see the screening is ongoing basically and let's have a look. We are done with the kitchen. Um, and this is Italian work um, completed for the kitchen area. Then let me zoom out so you can see. So yeah, this is the kitchen basically. And there's a lobby leading out from the kitchen. The tiling, the skating, as I mentioned. The skating is completed. So this is currently the screening work um, ongoing. And as you can see, we are mixing the paints and screening before we paint. So when the screening is done, it's going to be as smooth as anything else. So this area here, the old paint we had, um, we are going to screen them. This test coat paint, that's the rough paint, because this house is about 16 to 17 years old. So this um, test coat paint, that's the rough paint, is no longer common. Um, at least for internal rooms inside the house. So we are going to screen them and we are going to make it smooth. And before we paint the place, um, next thing we are going to do as well is the electrical part. We are going to have our fittings, electrical fittings um, in the main lounge. Yeah, this is the main lounge area and we are going to screed. After screening, we are going to paint. We are going to have our fittings next, which is our electrical fittings, plumbing fittings, carpentry uh, fittings in. We already had our carpenter in yesterday. We had the plumber and the electrician in. So next is to procure the material and get ready so that immediately we are completing the painting we can progress this is the dining area if you remember it's been screwed or it's currently been screwed these are the materials we bought for the painting work we bought a um, fine coat paint for the painting and we bought this the star locks for the screening and um, this ash buckets are for the screening paint and yeah we have white chips and um, pure cement and um, this pure cement is used for the screening is used um, you can either use pure cement or calcium to mix with the screening paint just to control the thickness of the screening paint so if you want to make it more thick you can add more POP cement so basically um, fine coat paint is another qualitative paint um, it's one of the mid-range um, standard paints we have in the market and there are other paints like Dulux, uh, Maya, Sacklux, and um, Becher paints but fine coat paint is a paint that I've known for over 10 years now and it's qualitative. It is produced in Nigeria and it's a standard paint because paints come in about 
three categories. You have the economy paint, the standard paint, and the premium paint. So the fine coat paint is in the range of the standard paint. We have a top bond as well that is going to be used for screeding. This is top bond and it's one of the strongest bond you can get for screeding. It's quite expensive, just this 10 kg is about 20,000, but we got it for 19,500. And we have this sack locks. It's, a, it's an oil paint, it's going to be used for the burglary and stuff. Then we have cement here, elephant cement. These are the rooms. This is the lobby of the rooms. We changed the skating and the ceiling is currently being painted. We are going to have electrical fittings there and in most places. And same for other rooms, all these things are going out. They will be repainted. These are the doors we fixed. The American steel doors. Currently we've done the tiling for the kitchen with the new doors in place. Before we did the tiling work, we had the electrician in to position all the pipings and the box for the kitchen utilities. So these boxes are for the electrical works. So obviously it's ideal for you to get all these things sorted. And the plumbing work as well is ideal for you to get them sorted before the tiling um, starts. So that when the electrical stuff is sorted, you can tile and you don't have to break um, the tiles to get anything done anymore so the tiling is more like the ending of the finishing kind of as, as for this case which is the kitchen the tiling is the finishing or the final finishing I finished yesterday um, as you know this is a commercial um, property so it's not like a personal house but obviously it needs to be done properly so currently the carpenter is on the way to do the um, you know, the cabinet for the kitchen area. So this is the working top for the kitchen basically. The tile has just finished yesterday. And yeah. So this is the skating um, as part of the tiling work that was done and because previously the skating here was the shutter one. The screening is taking place as you can see. So Let me go show you the screening work um, in one of the apartments my painter is working on. I'm going to see him next door, he's next door um, working. He actually came to do our work here, but um, there's a site next door and he was recommended. So since we are still progressing with our work, he will go and um, start off with years and when we are ready, he can come. I don't know. Okay. How the work they go now? 
the essence of screeding essentially is to make the surface as smooth and as sleek as possible so that when the painting um, is done it's going to give it an ultra premium finishing so you see the edges and the surface very smooth and straight that's one of the importance of screening. There are other benefits as well, especially if you're using like a satin paint. Um, it's ideal and good to have a screening paint. And if you have a POP as well, it's ideal you screed.